Howdy. Today we're going to be doing shooting on a very interesting film, one I haven't shot on before, some Rolly Infrared. And we're going to be doing it, taking it over to the top, pulling out all the stops for it. We're going to be doing shooting it with the Hoya R72 filter, which is going to cut out all the visible light and only capture the infrared. I got myself a big white sheet. We're going to cut the holes in it. Very classic Halloween. You know, it's been done a thousand times, but I think with the infrared film, we're going to take it over the top. Hopefully add that extra element of, damn, that looks weird and creepy. I was going to shoot it on M6 with the Voigtlander, but the problem is this doesn't have, ooh, this doesn't have on the focusing wheel here, on some lenses they have a little red dot kind of off to the side to show you where the infrared light can focus. Unlike the X-Pan, which conveniently has an infrared dot on here. That little R right there tells me where to set focus. So instead of focusing on the red line right there, I can shift it over to the red dot and it will let me know where I need to focus for infrared film. Because apparently, so they say, if you can believe them, if you can trust the sources, infrared film and infrared light focuses on a different plane than visible light. And I was originally gonna just crop it down and take it out of pano mode here, undo that. But I think it's gonna add an extra little juice, a little sauce to these photos and hopefully take them over the top. So between the, the wide aspect ratio and the infrared film, hopefully we can get something good. You're also gonna need a tripod because this filter cuts out all visible light. So there's probably gonna be some long exposures mixed in there with, with us today. And, and by no means is this a how-to video. This is gonna be me experimenting and seeing if we can get anything good. Also, my first Halloween print of the church in North Carolina is now live, so click the link down in the description if you wanna pick yourself one up. We're only gonna be printing 20 of them, so if you're into it, definitely jump on it early. And all of them will be coming signed, framed, and ready to hang. It's the perfect print for Halloween. It made the hairs on the back of my neck stand up when I was taking the photo. So if you're into it, go click that link, go check it out. Now that that's out of the way, let's grab our sheet, make our little ghost outfit, and uh, go test it out on some infrared film. Now we just need to figure out where the eyes go. Here we go. Where are the she's? <laughs> I, just, I bet you McDonald's might be better. Maybe. I feel like Wendy's has gone major, dude. Majorly downhill. It's almost on Adam. It's like Burger King status. So this is a whole scrolls. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Camera's ready. Let's get the costume on. Yeah, I think so. All right, dude, let's go. Let's have you come right here, bro. <laughs> I don't know, dude, we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna come in pretty tight here. Twist towards my voice. Now to try and figure out this meeting, metering. First one, here we go, brither. Okay, dude, ISO 12, an F4, it's saying a 60th. All right, you ready, brother? Three, two, one. Not bad. All right, dude, I'm gonna come this way now. Come, yeah, twist towards me now. Maybe tilt your head to the left, other way. Just your neck, though. 
Head down just a bit. Back just a bit. All right, let's try that, dude. I'm gonna go with the same settings, all right? Three, three, two, one. All right, let's go find another frame over here, dude. I think it's over here. Follow my voice. Ooh, come right here. Yeah, let's try right there. And then let's do a little fixing of the eyes here. Ooh, it's very scary. Such broad shoulders you have. And twist your head now, Tw tilt like we did before. Cock your head. Uh, other way. And even more, go extreme with it. You gotta be, you're animated. Try a five, six out of 30th. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Three, two, one. I'm gonna come in low. I'm gonna get a hero shot, you know what I'm saying? Down, down below. And I think, dude, let's twist you so the background is these trees over here. These eyeballs, dude. F4 to 60. Twist towards me now, a little bit. Where are you? I'm right there, oof. All right, here we go, dog. You ready? Three, two, one. All right, we're gonna go, we're gonna go wide with this one. Try and hide his. He's got some Crocs on. We don't, we don't want to be seeing that. Let's go, run it. Hop, hop, two steps, big steps to your left. Keep going, keep going. Roof, right. One more. Squat down just a bit. Three, two, one. Keep coming, keep coming. We're going a ways. We're going a ways. All right, hold an extra still on this one. We're going a 15th and an F4. Three, two, one. All right, bro, I say we had, there's some light and some trees and some leaves over there up on the hill. I'll grab our stuff. Yeah, so let's have you go stand right up there. Before that shadow? Yeah, I'll guide you, come here. Again, we're like, you're looking back at us yeah, to start. Yeah. So you might have to squat down a lot on this one when it's time, but then. Where are my eyes, bro? They're gonna be, they're right here in front of us. Eight. Eight, probably a fourth of a second. Okay, we're gonna squat down just a bit. More. All right, self-timer, here we go, three, two. Okay, ready to just stand up tall now? Maybe now, dude, you're just like kind of staring at the sun. That's kind of nice. So look dead center into the sun. Where's your nose? All right, same size. All right, self-timer, here we go, three, two, one. Sun's disappearing. No lights here, I know infrared, you gotta have a lot of sunlight, which we don't have anymore. I'm thinking we're gonna have the ghost leaning up against the tree, kind of shoot from behind him a little bit. Does that make sense? I'll show you. We got him into position, kind of. Might need to come around a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if that looks like anything. Something like that. One second at an F8. Here we go, self-timer mode. Three, two, one. We'll start with a wide and then we'll go in for the tight. What do you say? Something like, yeah. Let's go get the x pan Two seconds. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, self-timer.
There it goes. All right, extend that leg all the way down because I don't see the end of the sheet running. No, like just pop your leg out. Get it, lay it flat. All right, here we go. At a two, a two second self timer starts. Three, two, one, now. Okay, put it like where are we going? I'd say you're gonna go to the bottom of the hill. Let's go get set up for the big wide. I've never shot infrared, but I know infrared light likes to be out midday. Sun shining. So this is now extremely experimental. And Brennan, I think we'll do one arms down and then we'll do one with, pull, hold your arms out. <laughs> That's pretty good actually right there, dude. All right, let's see. Four seconds, can you hold that? Yeah. Okay. All right, running arms out. All right, bro, for these last two, I'm gonna pull the infrared filter and just get two shots that I know at least, I mean, hopefully they'll work. Because clearly I don't know what the hell I'm doing with infrared. Acting like a real first timer here. Well, let's now just get a straight up standard black and white one. No interesting light, just a nice ghost. All right, here we go, running a 15th and an F8. Three, two, one. Um, give me just a second here. Hands up. I need you ready. Three, two, one. That's it, taking off. Oh, dude, this one smells funky. Well, some of them turned out. Overall, conceptually, it works. We just need to zero it in a little bit. My goal with these was to have something familiar yet unfamiliar at the same time. Well, I guess I should backtrack too. In developing the film, my stupid, dumbass brain loaded the film up into the Patterson tank and then for some reason, was trying to figure out the chemicals and mindlessly opened the loaded Patterson tank. An idiot, dude. I accidentally opened the lid, not this lid. Like, what was I thinking, man? So it kind of adds a little special effect to some of these photos. I mean, it was kind of ruined all of them, but it kind of adds a, a grungy, ghostly effect to it. So that totally ruined half these shots. But there was, I mean, this one's pretty good. I mean, it kind of makes it feel like nighttime almost in this one. You got the dark sky over here. That one works. I think the other one that I'm really stoked on is honestly the one where I took the filter off and it's the big wide and it's the dark field. The grass is super dark and then the ghost is, you know, just pops out. We should probably try and take this photo again without having a playground in the background. That kind of kills it. But overall, I think that's the consensus. I think I'm onto something. Conceptually, I now just have to, I did a poor job of executing this. Yeah, it's kind of like its own version of the upside down in some of these. Like in this one, you can kind of see, right? Infrared turns all the foliage bright white and it kind of does it in this photo here. So we just gotta go again. We gotta retry, but not bad for a first shoot. Also, little reminder, I'm doing a darkroom print sale of this photo, this creepy church. It'll come signed, framed, and ready to hang. I'm only making 20 of them, and there's just a few left. So if you want one, click the link down in the description and snag yourself one before they're gone. Yep.